The second thing you touched on is nutrition. And one of the things I find in trying to help people operate like corporate athletes and in my own nature is that I get disconnected from food being a fuel to fuel being a ple- the food being a pleasure source. Yes. And the more food becomes a pleasure source, it seems to be the more disconnected I become from the fact that it's actual fuel. Yes. And that I can have the greatest mindset in the world, but if I'm eating the crap and just eating the stuff that brings me comfort, the next thing that's gonna happen is movement. And, and it, it, it can invalidate the movement or makes the movement poor, makes the movement sluggish. And I, I wanna say this, it's not some giant conspiracy, but when you eat in America on a regular basis every day, you go to lunch and they go, would you like dessert? And I remember coming from Ireland going, dessert? <laughs> I remember seeing breakfast, you know, it's like, oh, we have pancakes and syrup for breakfast. You're like, that's dessert. Yes. And you can have dessert, sweet things. You know, what used to be Thanksgiving dinner as a treat, you know, I always remember Easter was big in Ireland. You'd have 40 days of Lent and then a big Easter dinner. Yeah. Well, you can have the Easter dinner every day now without Lent. <laughs> and, and so what happens is the nutrition piece, yeah. without getting too preachy on this, when I disconnect that the nutrition is the fuel, when I, when I, I take great care of my cars, mm-hmm. every one of my car, the, the, the fluids are good, I always get it serviced, the brakes are good, the tires are good, but can you speak to a little bit of this performance and what, I don't care how talented an athlete they are, when, when someone has the bad nutrition, how the fuel robs the performance? Yeah, I mean, I think it's actually a very much a red thread that you are fueling your body and not just for below the neck and body composition and the rest, but really for your cognitive function as well. Mm. And I think one of the things that reinforces what you just stated, Brian, is we know now and at Exos, we've had this 500 page plus or minus white paper about mindset, nutrition, movement, recovery, not being four pillars, but seamlessly integrating those to the strands of your DNA. And we know now Mm. that your gut health will actually drive your cognitive function and your Mm. gut health and serotonin will drive cognitive function. So you look at all these things that needs to work together. Nutrition is the single trip up that gets most people in an inflamed state, oftentimes low energy. Um, And once you start to have those elements, then it's really hard to do the rest of your above the neck right? Like staying focused, winning the process because you lose, right? Your self-discipline, you kind of lose your focus. And so all these things, fuel is critical. Uh Keep it super simple, right? Low to the ground, like eat a rainbow often, less legs, the better. And if you start (laughs) to do those things, like just, if you keep it that simple, it will drastically change your entire performance. But I will go back to one of your key themes, alignment. Mm -hmm. great quality nutrition that fuels your goals, that fuels your intent, can also be both delicious and nutritious. Mm -hmm. 